Hey guys, Shave Air 1000 here. I'll be doing a little vlogging. I got some things to do over at Monkey's parents' house. This is one of them. She <laughs> she fixed the window, so I guess I'm going to have to refix it. It keeps coming off track. So, man, it smells musty. It got wet in here. Um, so, I'm going to have to put it back on track. Somebody keeps rolling it down. It keeps falling off track. But, that's no big deal because half of this, there's really nothing holding this on anyway. See that? So, we got that to do. We also have... Oh, there's the ramp I built. Just a tiny ramp. We've also got to put a new doorknob on here. Because there's don't have a key. I think Bruno just got tangled. Are you tangled? Are you tangled? Come on. Come on. Come here. Oh, God. Come here. How'd you do that? Hang on, guys. You got to run your ankle, don't you? All right, there you go. Okay. All right. There's one thing done. Now, I'll show you an upcoming project I'm sure I'm going to have to do. Monkey wants me to start on it today, but I'll give you a little hint. I don't have any gaskets. So... I've got to I've got to put this thing back together. This Corvette convertible. At the side pipes, the headers, and I have no idea why it was taken apart. I mean, I'm sure the valves are gonna need adjusted. Um, as you can see it's got the rockers. But he's got the whole top end off. Said something about a fuel leak, but I don't know why you'd have to take the valve cover off to fix a fuel leak on that thing. It does have a supercharger on it. A little mini blower there. There's a supercharger. Cold air induction. There's the there's the plenum and part of the intake. So I don't know. You know, I don't know where the gaskets are. I don't know if he's got any gaskets. Um, I don't know what's going on here. I don't know why they took that off. See, there's just a lot of things that he's not talking to me about. He's in the hospital, by the way, but so there's nothing I can do with this without gaskets and knowing whether, because that does not feel adjusted to me, you know. It just doesn't feel right. You know, this thing's all loose. It's going to need a gasket on it. Uh, it does have a gasket on it, so I'm not sure. Okay, there's there's gasket up here. Okay, it's <laughs> it's new. <coughs> he said it just needs put back together, but I don't know why it was taken. I don't know why they took it apart. You know, I can use that gasket. But I don't... Let's see, there's a gasket here. I see an EGR valve gasket here. Uh, I don't know. This is something I'm just going to have to look at. And try to figure it out. But this is the old vat. Needs some work. Like I said, I don't, I don't, you know, why would you, I don't know. I can't get him to talk. I don't know if he even remembers. But, uh, okay, so there is a gasket. It looks like glued on down there. I don't know, guys. It's a basket case, as you can see, and I'm going to have to try to figure it out. So I don't know if they 
I don't think they had the other valve cover off. It does not look like it. But I can tell you right now, them uh, rocker arms, I don't think they're, see, they're, they're actual Chevy rocker arms. I don't know. I'm just going to have to check them out and see what's going on with it. He had, as soon as they put, ever since they put the supercharger on it, it was running hot. Now, he said he had a guy come in and tune it with the computer and it was alright for a little bit and then start running hot again. Now, I'd have to crawl up under there and see if when those headers were put on there, what um, O2 sensors they have used. Because if you put a supercharger on there, you got to change your O2 sensor. Because if you don't, your stock O2 sensor is because you got to richen them out because you're, you're putting a shitload of air into that engine so you need a shitload more gas so when you do that what you're going to have to do is richen it out and you have to do that with the computer right and once you richen it out if you didn't change the put your high performance O2 sensors in or do something with them it's going to think it's getting too much fuel it doesn't know that it actually needs it so eventually it's going to tune itself back down and it's going to be running lean. And any gearhead knows an engine running lean is an engine that's running hot. So, but this will be upcoming. I don't know if I'm going to do anything with it today or not. But if I do, I'll film it for you. I'd like to just do this as one video on how to put back a basket case car. Um, but, you know, I don't, I don't know if the fans were working. I don't know why it was running warm. I'm just guessing that they had it running too lean or it was running too lean for some reason. That's why it was running hot. Um, so that's just a guess on, guesstimation on my part. So there we go. There's what we're looking at there. And you know, you'd think that thing would be easy to get to, but there's still a lot of stuff in your way. It's shoved down in there because these engines, you can see how far back it sets. You know, it sits way back in there because that's for weight distribution. So, all right. Well, I think I think I'm going to do the door handle first, and then we'll do the truck, and then we'll look at this thing and see what's going on. Okay, guys. So I did find the gaskets. He does have all the gaskets to put that vet back together. I was out there looking at it and there's some issues on the right side, the plenum. Where you bolt your, uh, well part of the plenum. It bolts onto the intake. They already bolted the fuel rail back on. And you can't get it in there of the fuel rail so I'm gonna to have to unbolt that fuel rail to get that side on and uh, which is no big deal it's only four bolts but they can be a pain can you guys see all right they can be a pain but this is not a how-to anyway it's just this video is just we're vlogging today so I'm using my new tripod the little baby thing and uh, as you can see it's it's actually pointing down at the door handle so and that's not all the raised all the way raised up so it's got another at least eight or ten inches it can go up so anyway so I still don't know what's going on with the valves it's got the roller rocker so uh, I'm gonna have to find out. See, last time I talked to him about it, he he didn't say too much. He just kind of, oh, it just needs to put back together. It just needs to put back together. I'm like, well, why'd you take it apart? Oh, it had issues. I don't know if he don't remember, or I don't know what's going on there. But I do know. He even told me himself he had heating issues. It kept heating up on him, uh, running hot. So. This thing is not wanting to come out of here. It feels like it's stripped, maybe. So, I haven't looked at the door, but I, I was out in the garage 
because I know Monkey wants to get get it back together. They need to sell it, and he's agreed to sell it. But you can't sell it like that. And that, but what concerns me is he bought the whole head gasket set and didn't he just he didn't buy the top end set. He bought the whole head gasket set. Now I don't know if he was worried about the. Uh, I don't know if he was worried about the, uh, now maybe I can push out on this. It's a bunch of shims behind here or something. Uh, maybe a head issue or something. Uh, as it is an aluminum headed engine. It's aluminum block too. Uh, it's supposed to be like around 700 horse, which it should be pretty close. He's never had it dynoed. It's just a guess from the computer and stuff like that. But so you can get close to a guess, a guesstimation on that. So let's get the other lock set here. So an issue is that, damn it, that I'm going to have. Change this direct plate too. Is I'm not sure what's going on with them valves. You know what I mean? Ah, oh, come on, really? So. I mean that's that that does kind of have me concerned there a little bit because I, I just I don't know why you would have to pull pull the uh, I'll have to do something with that I don't know why you would have to pull the valve cover off for an exhaust or for a fuel leak well let me do some checking on this thing it just uh, It's a little different, but it's not one to go in because of this here. All right, let me check this out before I screw something up. <laughs> All right, we're back. All I did was I just had to pop it in there. It's got two different uh, style plates. See, this one's like round, and this one's square. I wanted to use square one. It doesn't really matter, but I like to do... Yeah, what's right. Now, and see, it's also got one like this too. For the round, for the round locks, so it's pretty universal. So, so, which way do I want the key to go in? How do you guys like your keys? Let me know in the comments below. Do you like them with the teeth when you go to unlock it like that or like that? I like them like that, but kind of like the toilet paper thing, you know, it's just a matter of preference. There we go. Now let's get these things sometimes can be a pain to line up let me tell you not that but these you know to get your screw started in there sometimes so need some caulking around that window something seems like it's a little loose Sometimes you pull it out and look in the back, but this one you can't. Sometimes you pull front, look. This one you can on the front, or the inside, I should say. So there, we'll get this one started, and then the other one will be fairly close. Fairly, that is. Now this one you can usually feel in there. Well, I had it. 
that should be it there. Like I said, it's not a how-to. I'm just shooting the crap. I got a couple hours. I got to be here. You guys can't see nothing, can you? I got a couple hours yet. I'm going. I got to be here. She don't have a lot of patience today, but uh, and they're they're kind of close since I'm already here. But they thought they had parts for the window for the truck, but he don't. It was for parts, it was the same thing, but for something else, a different car. So all I can do is put it back on track and run it up like I did last time. Remember here a while back when we had to borrow that truck, Monkey put the window down too far. Remember that? Okay. Alright. Let's try it, guys. See, our back door, the garage door, the man door, if it's locked and you turn it, it'll automatically unlock from this side. So. Now, before I lock myself up, well, I got the garage door open. Alright, let's check it. Good shape there. Now I'll go put all this stuff back in this cord because it does work, it just don't have a key. And you can have it re keyed. And nowadays you can have them re keyed. I've had these re keyed cheaper than I could buy a lock set. So I don't know how much this lock set was. The neighbor was, uh, the neighbor lady was kind enough to, uh, to uh, get them a lock. So I thought that was very nice of her. Uh, they're both in the hospital, by the way. <laughs> so, well, her mom's in rehab. You know, the drug addiction thing. No, I'm just kidding. She's in rehab because of uh, when she was in the hospital, you know. And then now her dad, he's he's in the hospital because he had some bleeding issues uh, with his catheter. I know you guys are going, ah, I don't want to talk about that. But anyway, that's what happened. So he's in the hospital for that. They had to give him blood, blah, blah, blah. So, um, anyway, now he's going to get out. He may be going to rehab tomorrow, which they're going to try to get in the same place. That way they can visit each other. Um, that'll be nice. So, she's hoping to be home here in about three weeks. I don't know how long it'll be for him. Um, you know, depends on his foot. Um, Monkey told me yesterday his foot was ice cold. Uh, so it sounds to me like it's not getting much circulation, but then again, he lost a lot of blood. So it's just one thing after another. But anyway, so we're just trying to get the stuff taken care of for them so it'll be easier when they get back and all that stuff. So let's go in the garage and uh, look at the vet again. Okay, so you guys will be able to see a little better now. I opened up the garage door. This is his toolbox. Uh, so get you there we go so anyway I, I did find some gaskets um oh yeah okay so there's the gasket for the plenum which goes on there like that the EGR valve was already on, so I don't know why he had this out. But since that's the EGR valve, I'll show you it's right. Right there's the EGR valve, and everything's over top of it. So since we are this close, I mean, I'll have to look closer. Maybe they put a new one on. But if they didn't, I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Because if, that, if this gasket starts leaking, it's going to suck air. It's going to cause you problems. So, if it doesn't have a new one on it, I will put that one on there. It's only two bolts, and I'm already ready to get to it. I uh, have an issue with the alternator here. Somebody's put a ground wire. Where are you at? Here, let me turn some more light on for you. So, someone's put a ground wire on the bottom of the alternator, and it bolts 
right in here underneath the supercharger and it's this is not long enough and also he's got you got to be careful with this thing he's still got the battery hooked up so it's still hot I hate that you know I mean the battery's right there unhook it at least he, he does have a battery tender on it which does it keeps it charged while you know your vehicle sits a long time but so I did find some gaskets but uh yeah see the side pipes they're hidden uh, it is a nice looking car but it's not one of the sought after Corvettes it's not a high dollar vet I mean it's got a high dollar motor yeah and all that it's a Corvette convertible but it's not the sought after convertibles so what I'm talking about over here where did I put it okay I did put two new gaskets down there. They had new ones on it, but somebody put that uh, Indian head stuff on there to make it stick. And I thought, well, he had a new set, so I put a new set on there. Now, see, right there's one issue. Now, I can get past these, but I can't get past that intake manifold bolt right there. It's got to come down. It will not slide in like that. So, what I have to do is I got to break these lines loose. This is your fuel rail. You have a left and a right. And I'm not saying that backwards. Left and right. Always remember this. If someone asks you, you know, do you want the left tie rod in or right tie rod in? It's as if you were sitting inside the car. So just remember that. Okay? So driver's side's left. and Because, you know, a lot of people just say driver's side or passenger side. But it's left and right. So here's your left fuel rail, your right fuel rail. There's your lines that go to them okay this is your fuel regulator all right one of these is a return line okay now here so what I've got to do it's only four bolts I got to take this bolt out back here there there and there and this will lift up but here's your injectors all right these are your fuel injectors so you got to pop them off the fuel injectors you know to uh, or pop the fuel injectors out but I usually just pop them off the injectors if I can and uh, and then I gotta lift this up so in this thing see that's not clipping in like it's supposed to so I don't know if it's got an issue I'm gonna have to check into that all the other ones seem to be alright that see this the silver thing that comes right around there that's your that's your clip that's supposed to keep it from doing that and it's not so anyway that's what I'm gonna to have to do I may do that once I get the window the rest of the way up in the truck and I gotta leave the truck door and smells musty in there because apparently the seat got soaking wet I don't know how long it'd been like that so all right so that's what we're doing so if I get into more on this I'll set you up in here and you can watch me okay so hang tight guys all right we're back out here at the truck I gotta speak up a little bit somebody's mowing back there now, some fucking idiot, and it wasn't her dad, and I know that for a fact, had this board jammed up in there to try to hold the fucking window up. This is where the motor bolts on to. And as you can see, they ground the rivets off, right? Which you have to do. Now, this thing didn't have a problem with the freaking motor. It just kept coming off track. It had a track issue, not the motor issue. Okay, so there's the old track, and they tried to put the new motor on, and now... When you try to raise it up and down, the motor turns, but that this doesn't. The arm, the, uh, shoot, what's it called? See, I'm so pissed off right now. The regulator, it doesn't want to go up and down. And then, they only put one rivet back in it and jammed a freaking board up in there like that to hold the damn window in or keep it from coming down. That's the kind of stuff you don't do. If you don't know what you're doing, get somebody that does. If you don't have the money, I understand it. Tape the damn window up. But now it's going to cost them a lot more money because i got to go get the right stuff, you know, to fix that. So apparently, it wasn't that dude's car. You can't believe them. They're fucking lying sack of shit. And they just go around tearing up shit. So anyway, you know, this is the original one. And... 
He's got it all jacked up and tore apart when there wasn't a damn thing wrong with it to begin with. Just kept coming off track. So now I gotta grind that rivet out or pop that rivet off or whatever. Get that out of there and see if I can make something work. I hope they didn't spend a lot of money on that thing, you know, for him to tear up like that. But I can hear the motor turning, but the regulator's not going up and down. So the window arm. So that's telling me he screwed something up. So I'm going to try to get that out of there and uh, I'll bring it in here and work on it. So I'll be back with you guys. This house is haunted. Yep, it's haunted. You heard me right. I told you it was. I'm vlogging. Oh, hi. Monkey made it back. So apparently, she sees a woman walking in here. Yeah. Right in here. Uh-huh. Up and down in here. Hey. the kitchen. Walking down in okay. here. Okay. I'm going to take the okay, bacon and so. eggs. There's a big block of cheese. Okay, there's their there's bedroom. Room. Apparently she sees a woman walking through here and she hears stuff. Now, up until today, I've never really heard anything. But today I heard a couple different things. Bruno heard it too. Because he jumped up, his ears perked up, you know. And he was, um, he was uh, on alert. And we looked around, couldn't find no reason for it. One was a big bang, like somebody closed the door inside the house. Nothing was open or closed. And one kind of sounded like a hissing noise, like kind of like a snake hiss, <laughs> only real loud. It was weird. But I've never spent the night here, and uh, cool, check it out. Monkeys. But it's supposed to be haunted, so maybe someday I'll bring in my night vision camera, some recording devices, and we'll see what's going on. But, so tomorrow, here's the plan. Tomorrow, I will be going, shit, it's dark in here. I'll be coming back here tomorrow, and we're going to try to get the vet put back together. So, that's the plan. I want to say thanks, everybody, for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, Shea Bear, the mental and the man, the legend. Uh, Bruno's going to say he's out. Say bye, Bruno. All right. The monkey's talking to her mom. We're getting ready to leave. Door handle's working great. So, I'm going to go for now. And Monkey would probably say she's out. Monkey says you're out. And Monkey says she's out. And Mom's out. So, alright guys. Check you later. Bye-bye. Take care.